If you want to make more sales on Etsy and grow your Etsy shop, then you want to know about my second favorite Etsy SEO tool. This one is a great help and I'm going to show you how to use the features in potentially some ways you might not have known. This is the E-Rank Rank Checker and it's actually the first tool that I discovered E-Rank by many years ago now. When I was doing SEO, when I changed up some of my listings and I wanted to find out if they were ranking, I used to have to scroll through all the pages on Etsy and trying to find where my item was showing up. And then there was a tool years ago that helped me do this and it shut down and I was desolate. I was inconsolable until I finally discovered E-Rank. So the Rank Checker is the tool that got me into E-Rank. And if you guys don't know, I actually work for E-Rank now. I love the tool so much. But videos in this channel are not sponsored or approved of by E-Rank. They're my opinions and my opinions alone. But let's dive down into the Rank Checker tool and let me show you why I enjoy this tool so much. So you get to the Rank Checker tool on E-Rank through Tools from your top bar menu here and Rank Checker. This is a free feature, although some things might look slightly different with a paid subscription. I'm using my Pro account just now. So when you first get here, this is what you're going to see. It tells you the report allows you to see what the average Etsy buyer sees in search results on Etsy without personalization or promoted listings. Results show here are likely to differ from what you see on Etsy because of the personalizations. And I've spoke about this in videos in the past. The rank checker takes its data directly from the Etsy API rather than searching Etsy. So it's what's kind of the average person's going to see and it's a really good way at seeing what Etsy thinks about your SEO rather than thinking what they think about your location and your search history and what you're likely to search for. So all you need to do here, now your shop name will be in here by default, it says optional basically if you don't put in someone else's shop name your shop name will be in here and you just pop in a term. Now when I click on this, this shows me some of my other keywords that I've searched for, which are a bit random. Um, let's have a think of dog sculpture. That's what I'll make. Um, and then you can choose your location. I usually, so different countries you're in, you can have a, an idea of that. But the super, the super difficult hard zone is always to aim for all. If you're shipping internationally, it's nice to hit for all. Um, we have a quota, different number of lookups, depending on what level of subscription you've got. And then we're just going to hit search. Now this doesn't just find your rank. You're going to see in a minute, this has got so much awesome information here. So when it loads up, it shows you several things. First of all, now if you've got a free account, this is even better because it's showing you the keyword statistics for this search term that you've put in. So this data is quite expensive and very valuable. So it's telling me this isn't the world's best keyword to use, um, but it's just an example anyway. So we get to see the number of average searches, clicks, click through rate and the competition. So super valuable. And then in this section underneath the search results analysis, first of all, your listings. This is what I was talking about. It searches Etsy for the term that I've put in. It digs through and finds out where my listings are ranking, if any of them are ranking. So it tells me what rank it is. That's in like the 65 means there are 64 listings showing above mine in the search and hitting 65 hits my top listing on page two. So super good to know. And you've got a whole load of data that you can look at. I can see all of my tags. And if you're in a paid subscription, this color thing is kind of helpful because if you hover over it, it tells you that the color is telling you what competition these tags are. So it's not telling you if it's a good or a bad tag, just a competition so you can look and say, do these items have a mixture of high and low competition? Are they all low competition? Are they all high competition? And again, you can click on any of these to get an idea about them. Or you can click on the button to get to the listing audit, which we will talk about in another video. And then we have data on the price, views, the number of daily views. This is just the number of views of the item divided by the total number of days since it was created, and number of hearts, 
when it was created, when it was last updated, is it vintage or is it handmade? So lots of information there. So super helpful. You can find out if you've made some changes to a listing, if you've gone in and worked on your SEO and you want to know that superstar keyword I was aiming for, that thing that I'm really interested in, is it currently working? Am I ranking for what I hoped I was? And you can look and see which listings are ranking and what page they're on. So that saves you a lot of time. You've got everything there all lined up for you. But now we have another section. I really love this. This gives you some extra data so you can find out, well, I'm only on page two. Maybe I want to rank a little bit higher. Let's dig some more into this. And fantastically, the top listings, this is showing us the search results page. This is showing us what items are ranking in the top. So we can get a look at what kind of images do my thumbnails stand out amongst this or will they? How will it look? Uh, what kind of title are they using? Are they using long titles, short titles, the number of tags? And by the way, have a check this one out. It doesn't have all 13 tags. It's not penalised for not having all 13 tags. It's got the most important thing here. We're looking for dog sculpture. It's got dog sculpture. That's good enough. Handy to look at all these things. How do we compare to these kind of items? So what's the price? Am I going to stand out in a good or a bad way if I show up on the search page for this? How many views and daily views has it got? How old since it was last updated? How many hearts? Now there's lots of other data we don't necessarily know about these. Is this a generally awesome shop? But it gives us, it gives us an idea. If you're seeing a search term has fairly low daily views and the listings are fairly old, I can think to myself, if I did a bit of work really wanting to focus in on this term dog sculpture, I bet you I could rank on the front page for this and fairly easily. I would just have to make a new listing or update the one I've got, possibly put the keyword term at the start of my title, make sure I'm more focused in on it. And I could pretty much, hopefully, I'd have a fair chance at least of ranking for this. So this is what I love to see here. You're looking at what's the number of daily views. Now, if we can't compare that to my item, well, I'm they're getting 0.1. I'm getting 0.6 daily views. So I'm a little bit better there. So yeah, if I sort this out a little bit, if I go into this little listing and I change it and put dog sculpture at the start of my title well it's already at the start of my title but maybe if I cut down my title a little bit okay I want it to be about a dog so I'll take out the cat or horse don't need to know about that um don't need of your choice so there's ways looking at this I can cut down that title it's got a lot of wasted space so if I cut all of that Will I belt a rank? Well, it's quite possible. Again, we don't know the number of sales, but looking at when these items were last updated, if it was a while ago, it's a pretty fair guess that these items haven't sold and relisted. Now, if a shop has other listings doing really well for similar type terms, then it's a chance that this shop will have a better quality score and will rank a little bit better than me. But when I'm using this, I can look and see is there a chance I think I'm going to do a little bit better for this term potentially than other people? So as this looks kind of cool, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these changes right now. Let's see if we can beat 65 in real time while you guys are watching. So I hit the listing audit and then I go to see on Etsy and I'm just going to edit this listing. And make this a little bit better. What things did I say I can do here? So firstly I said I can improve this title. Um, so we don't need to say cat. Any breed of dog. So I've cut down my title. That sounds good. Um, check that my tags are okay. Uh, do I have dog sculpture? I do. Okay, changed everything. So hit publish and because 
I've made some changes and I want Eatsy to check this out. So this will give it a newness boost as well, but it's always good. If I hit the renew button, that listing was getting a little bit old anyway. So I'm saying to Eatsy, hi there. I want you to have a look at this listing. I've made some changes. How am I doing? So once you've made some changes, you want to give that a few minutes for them to settle in. So while we're doing that, we'll have a dig about in here some more at other features. And then we'll check out and see if this has done anything, if this has changed anything. Fingers crossed. So you'll see this is in real time, apart from me cutting out some little stumbles or if I sneeze or the dog barks. Another thing you can do here, we have the buttons to download if you want to save what you're seeing right now. Uh, super handy, you can copy or print or get out different types of files or just hit print to print it out. If when you're on E-Rank you're not sure what anything's about, just hover over the question mark and it explains it for you. So daily views is the average views per day since this listing has been has had since it was created so anything you're not sure about there and also if you hit the green help button you get taken to a help file that explains how to use this but you don't need that because you've got me and I'm explaining it So it's always good to spend a minute looking at these as I said we can see the difference what's the mix of high and low competition keywords what kind of things are people making and not only that not just the prices and how the images look for a dog sculpture how do my items compare in the type of item if someone searches for dog sculpture is my item going to be the kind of thing that people are looking for as you would expect there's quite a few like bronze sculptures brass sculptures a little more fine art um but we also have plushy sculptures so there's a good mixture hand carved sculpture so you can see that the expectations when someone searches because the stuff that's going to be on the front page is the stuff that Eatsy thinks that people are going to want to buy so it's meeting the expectations of the person that's searching so therefore if your item fits with the type of items is it within the price range well the price range is all over the place from like $25 to one of these was several thousand yeah ooh ouchy 4800 so am i within that price range well yes i am um and do i fit that type of thing well yes it's a variety but here we go fiber arts there's polymer clay there's glass so yeah it doesn't seem to be a specific thing that i won't fit in if i'm here so this does seem to be an okay term to be aiming for although as we said it's possibly not the best in the world because it's not searched for much and we don't have much click data but it's an example so it's been a few minutes since i tried this since i made this change so let's see if eatsy's picked this up and they've noticed it so we hit search again same term same shop name same shop location and just hitting the search again to refresh this to to go and analyse Eatsy again and see what they think. And although it's caught on that it's updated, the position hasn't changed yet. So let's give it another couple of minutes. It sometimes takes a wee while. So it's been five minutes since I changed and I've just hit to, to search again. And you'll notice because I'm using the same search term, and all everything's the same my quota still hasn't changed so you can search for the same thing several times but let's see if my changes made any difference five minutes as i say you can see my my time here i'm not cheating anything so within five minutes there we go we took this listing from rank 60 odd onto page one rank eight so it gives us a chance to get seen with we've identified a keyword we've thought i can rank for that and we discovered that we can now it likely won't stay there for particularly long depending on how customers engage with it but i was able to look identify a keyword see that it was ranking okay but not amazing so it's doing okay so played around ever so slightly with the seo 
renewed this listing and there it is onto page one. So it's got a chance if it's if customers search for it, it'll get seen. And then after that, what happens is Etsy decides if it's getting seen or not, how it's comparing to the others. If it does well, it'll stay there. If it doesn't do well, it'll drop away over time. So have you used the Rank Checker tool? What do you think of it? And also, what are your top three favourite tools on eRank? Who knows? I might do a video on them for you. Thank you so much. See you next time.